Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 23. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue about adding layouts to our plugin. In the last video, we also seen about the layout of listing books. If I back to browser, now click on book management tool, go on create book this is the layout we had developed in the first part of adding layouts in the second part we had seen about this list book now inside this video we are going to create the layout for create book self as well as about list book self if suppose we have time inside this video back to editor if I open about the plugin main file of this admin go inside our menu for let's say create book self if I copy the slug and search inside this now this is the slug and this is the method actually we have attached so search for this method so right now we have no method with this name so let's say that plugin function method name and let's say here that is this is all about create book self layout and again if I scroll down and this is the layout of create book if I copy all the code go at the top pasting it here and let's say that create book and something self here all the codes will be remain same and all about this code we are using PHP buffer here about complete details about adding this code we had discussed inside first part of this adding layout section now simply for saving time I have just copied and pasted inside this method so let's say that first of all we had to create this file inside our admin and partials folder so go inside this admin partials folder create a new file and save this file with this name .php open up the file called create book and to copy all the code and pasting inside this file but instead create book this will be something create book self now if I back to browser back to our database table and inside this table these are the two tables actually we have generated click on this book self go to structure so we want about self name capacity self location and status it means we have to add four different fields in our book self create form back to editor now go inside this form so instead of action means this is dummy action so let's say javascript void zero and let's pass an ID of this form this will be something frm add book self and inside this let's say name means it will be something book self name or let's say here book self name next we want about capacity so instead of email if I type about capacity and let's say that here it will be something txt capacity copy this and this will be number minimum value that containing one pasting it here pasting it here and instead of email this will be something like that now we have two fields now next we want something about let's say self location so it will be input type box list txt underscore location if I copy pasting it here pasting it here and let's enter location next we have called if I remove this description because next we have called all about the status column so I'm going to remove all these fields and this is all about here if I save all these changes back to our and reload this page 
and I think that actually this slug will be a lot to enqueue about the CSS as well as JavaScript file because in the plugin main file means plugin admin main file we have restricted that so if I copy this slug go at the top and here inside this valid pages this time we are going to allow our JavaScript plugin files so pasting it here again for the style sheets file we have to allow inside this as well so if I save all these changes go here reload this page now we have CSS as well as JavaScript attached now inside this create book self we have name capacity self location and the status column in the next videos we will create data from this form and save inside this table right now we are only focusing about creating layouts now the next layout we will develop about list book self if I copy this slug go here and search this slug for and before that let's make about the first entry inside this enqueuing e styles as well as enqueuing e scripts file and if I search this slug and this is the method actually we have to develop and I think that this method was not developed yet so let's say public function method name and inside this I am to call the same layout what we have developed for this create book sorry list book so copy pasting it here and let's say that dmpl hyphen list hyphen books hyphen self here now if I copy the name or let's say complete name with the PHP extension go to partials folder new file and save this file now inside this file we are going to use the same means our layout or the same code what we have written inside this list book so if I copy the code go to book self pasting it here but this time let's say list book self here and inside this this is all about ID book self name this is all about capacity next we have let's say status and get rid of all these columns from here so these are the columns actually needed columns for our book self if I copy and pasting inside this footer all we have done now now let's say that this time inside this table we have ID something book self open up the JavaScript code and here it is again if I copy the code pasting it here so instead of this ID because this time we are going to create the table ID for our book self so this will be the ID we are searching inside the current opened page if suppose this is the ID means this page is active then by getting this ID we are going to actually attach data table method with this table so if I save all these changes back here reload this page and hard refresh to control F5 and as we can see about the list book self layout now here we have create book self with the same columns we have list book self here we have create book as well as list book here so successfully guys by the help of these the, the three video sessions of adding layouts we have successfully developed the layout of four pages now from the next video we will see about adding some JavaScript code to save our data inside database table. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.